here in the cow shed and here we've gotten some fresh dung and what we are going to do is to, is to collect all this fresh dung So this is one of the more than 2,000 uh, biogas pits that were sunk by Kenfit between the end of last year and the beginning of this year. What is happening here, this is the mixing chamber, and right here, right here we have a big dome, it's underneath this, this thing here. We have a big dome whereby all this dung, after it's mixed with, um, with water, comes right in here. And between here and here is where the gas is produced. Right here, the, 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 the microbes um, um, underneath this thing here um, are going through some biological process whereby they are producing gas. And what happens is that once the gas is produced, it goes all the way to the house where it is used for cooking. But between this thing here and this other thing here is where we have some, some, some physics going on, whereby as the gas is used, some of the dung, which has already been, been, been processed, comes back into the dome, then goes back as more gas is produced. And after the whole process is over, we will find that all the waste comes out here, which is clear, which, which is very, very good manure that can be used um, for, um, for, any, for any shamba. So just follow me as we get some cow dung from, uh, from, from the cow shed to come and feed come and mix with water so that we can mix it into some slurry that will then go into this dome for the for, for the production of some bio. So this is the cow dung we've just gotten from the, uh, from the cow shed. We put it on in here. And what we are going to do, we are already putting the water in here. We are just going to Mix it all up into a thick paste. So that it will be able to flow into the dome. So we're just going to go on doing this for some time until it becomes a thick paste. you can see we have been mixing this thing into about for about 15 minutes right now we have like a slight like a um, porridge like thing this is fresh dung and water and the ratios you're supposed to mix in is one to one this is like an uji kind of thing It is smelly right here at this point it is smelly if you leave it like this it's, it's going to attract flies obviously but by the time it leaves the dome after the decomposition and, and after all the gas has been removed there's no smell to this it is not acidic which is very clean manure you just have to mix it with a bit of fertilizer if if need be but it becomes very good fertilizer. But at this point, if you were to leave this here, it's going to attract flies. It's a bit smelly also. It's green in color. But, I'll, but I'll, as I will show you, the end product, which is coming out from the dome after decomposition, is brown in color. So we are going to open this vent here, and we'll see 
you will see all this mixture flowing into the dome. So this is what blocks the blocks the um, the dung and the water from flowing into. So I'm just going to open it now, and you will see it flowing into the dome. So now our mixture of dung and water is flowing right into the dome. So all that remains now is to wash this mixing chamber so we leave it clean. So just to recap what is happening here is that we have mixed fresh dung with water. It is green in color as you can see. We've opened the, the vent, all that mixture has flown into this dome right here. So all that mixture has come in here. Here we have a very big dome underground. And what is going to happen here, we'll have all the, we'll have the microbes um, fermenting everything and there'll be some decomposition going on. And um, right here we have a pipe that's coming from the dome and this pipe is carrying gas right up to the house and I will show you how that gas is working. So here we have the dome. And just to recap again, between here and this expansion chamber, we have some, some, some physics forces happening. We have, as gas is produced, what is in here is pushed out through this. We have a very big thing in here and it's pushed downwards and the old one is pushed out. But on the other hand, as the gas is used, it comes back up and, and, and what has not yet been decompos decomposed properly goes back in, is decomposed some more until the point where it will, it will all come out as brown. And what is coming out here is, 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 is very brown and like there, this is not smelly, it is not attracting any flies at all, it is very clean, it has no smell at all, but right there where we started at, we have some very, we have green and it's smelly and it, to the trap supplies at some point, if you leave it that way. So, what I'll do, I'll just go and wash that mixing chamber. But in the meantime, let me show you how. So, this is a one burner uh, biogas cooker. I'll just switch it on and you'll see how the flame looks like. So, there we have a flame that's coming with the, that's just basically biogas. It's very hot, it does not smell at all, there's no smell that's coming from it, cooks very fast, very efficient, and you don't need to buy um, LPG anymore. 